If you're ready to go, Fritz, uh, the, the mic is yours. Thank you. Uh, please be aware, everybody, of uh, the little uh, photo cell showing the uh, my picture uh, labels me as Jim Costin. Apparently, uh, one computer can only have one name. So Jim and I are here together today. I'm going to speak first, and I'm going to speak very quickly on a simple subject that is often misunderstood. The media and the legislators, who are the people that advocacy organizations are supposed to be talking to, the media and legislators do not understand the importance of frequency in building the market for train travel. The importance of frequency is it represents choice. We don't talk about choice much when we advocate train travel. We talk about comfort, we talk about safety, uh, we, we, we talk about amenities like, like dining and being able to have lots of space around you. Those are all true. But you got to remember something. The traveler wants the choice of when to leave and when to return. And in that department, trains are up against very heavy competition because of slide three, please. The interstate highway system offers travelers infinite choice. They can leave or return whenever they please. In order to capture business from the interstate, interstate, we must have higher frequency of trains. Trains must offer a greater choice of departure and arrival times, and that means more frequencies. Using frequency to increase choice isn't as hard as it looks because of a powerful mathematical relationship between growth and choice. As frequencies increase arithmetically, choices grow exponentially. Let me explain what I mean. Right now we're trying to expand service between the Twin Cities and Chicago from one train a day to two. That sounds like you're doubling service. Actually, the way the consumer perceives it, you are quadrupling the service. And the reason is, if you only have the builder operating now, the traveler has only one choice. Take the builder to the place where you're going and then taking the, take the builder back. You have one train a day. In other words, you basically have one choice, which is zero choice. It's either take the builder or drive. Now, you add a second train, and the traveler's choices increase not to two, but to four. Because now the traveler can go one way on the builder and back on the builder, or one way on the new train and back on the new train, or one way on the builder and back on the new train, or leave on the new train and come back on the builder. There are actually four ways to do that trip. You double the train service, you quadruple the choices. And this function is represented by an equation. It looks like this. Basically, what that means is if n equals the number of departures in each direction, then every time you add a train, you square, or you, you, um, uh, uh, square the number of choices that the traveler has. This is very poorly understood. It's never discussed. I, I've never seen it brought up in a, in a media story. I've never heard it as part of a discussion with a legislator, but it's essential. The frequency choice equation thus represents a great example of supply side economics because travelers prize choice. The more choices you make available, the more travelers will choose your product. In 2006, Illinois legislators voted to double the frequency on all three of their single train corridors. Within a year, the new trains doubled the ridership on each route. Two years ago, North Carolina added a third train between Raleigh and Charlotte. The new train not only established its own ridership, but drove an increase in ridership on the other two. That is, each train, each new train, makes all the other trains more useful to the traveler. Legislators don't understand, and the media do not understand, 
that adding trains increases the number of travelers, they tend to think that train travelers are a fixed universe. And if you add another train, it will cut the ridership on each train in half. It's not true. You build ridership by adding trains. Conclusion, the interstate is your enemy because that is where your travelers are. The interstate is your friend because that is where your travelers are going to come from. The key to attracting travelers out of their cars is frequency. That means that the TCMC train must run because adding one more train will create four times more choices for the traveler and will create more than twice as many passengers. We have a few minutes, I'll answer your questions. Sounds like everything was clear. <laughs> uh, if, if it was, I will... Uh...